Hi, I'm Jack Canfield, and if you've been following me for a while, you'll know I'm a big proponent of the Law of Attraction. In fact, I've appeared in several movies that focus on it, and I've written more than one book about it. But recently, a participant asked me if I ever see the Law of Attraction being misused. Now, I don't think you can misuse the Law of Attraction, but what you can do is not do the right things to correctly use it. And I actually have a lot of thoughts on this subject, so I'd, today I'd like to talk a bit about how the Law of Attraction actually works and how to make sure you're using it effectively to get the results that you want in your life. Now first let's talk about what the Law of Attraction is. It's a law that states what you think about, focus on, and feel strongly about, you're going to create more of it in your life. And the thing to remember about the Law of Attraction is that everything is energy and vibration, and like energy attracts like energy. Happy people attract happy people. Depressed people attract depressed people. They're attracted to each other. Now, one example of how powerful the law of attraction is, is how I attracted an amazing beach house on the island of Maui in Hawaii into my life. What happens is that I teach, and you've probably heard me talk about the importance of affirming the things you want using affirmations and also using visualization. And one of the things that I was doing, I was doing some talks and this is how powerful the law of attraction is because I didn't even really purposely want to have a house on the beach in Hawaii. I mean, everyone kind of does, but it wasn't something I was focusing on, but I needed to come up with an affirmation example for a workshop I was doing for a company uh, and that had heard me talk about it before. So I came up with one that says, I am so happy and grateful to be sitting on the lanai of my beach house in Maui watching the sunset go down over Ka'anapali Bay, just to illustrate how I would do that if I wanted a beach house. But I was doing the seminar three or four times a day, you know, it was a couple hours in this company and I was doing that over five days. And what happens is I was saying that a lot and I was getting people to visualize with me. And just within like six months, uh, Patty Aubrey, who was one of my business partners, came to me and said, hey, we have this house in Maui that we developed to sell it and we want to kind of keep it now and one of the people that was an investor doesn't want to play anymore would you like to come in on it and you know i had the money so i said okay i'll put it, i'll put some money in and i ended up being a co-owner of this house for for a number of years and i had this great 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 um balcony overlooking the ocean off this room that was always my room when i went there and i was sitting there one day watching the sun go down and i went oh my god I've been visualizing and affirming that and guess what works, you know, I mean, I know it works, but the point was, that's how powerful it is. The, the problem is most of us go around thinking about what we don't want. I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that doesn't happen. And you're literally drawing that into your life because you're thinking about it, you're focusing on it and you're feeling strongly about it. And you're probably talking about it to other people. Now, in the book and the movie, The Secret, it talks about three stages of the law of attraction. Ask, believe, receive. So let me talk about that for a little bit. Asking is asking for what you want. That's simply having a preference or a desire. I want a window seat at the, at the um, restaurant I go to tonight. I'd like to have an aisle seat you know, in first class in the plane. I hope this person will return my phone call. I want to get tickets to that play. You know, whatever it is, when you have a desire or a preference, you are asking the universe, God, however you want to hold that, for this to happen. And you're also uh, activating your subconscious mind, which will also come up with solutions of how to make it happen. The second thing is to believe it's possible. In other words, you have to believe that you're gonna get it. You act as if it's coming. You know, a lot of people talk about, there's no men in this town, how am I ever gonna have a relationship? They're all taken, all the good men are taken. Instead of believing that the perfect guy or gal is coming into your life right now, and it may go against everything that the outside world would give you as data, but the fact is, if you choose to believe it, what happens is all the law of attraction gets set up and vibrationally you start attracting it to your life. The third thing is receive. That means you have to let go and open yourself to be available to receive that which is what you're wanting, which means you need to be in a vibrational relationship, a vibrational match. So if I want more happiness in my life, I need to choose to be happy with what I have now. If I want more possessions in my life, I have to be appreciating the possessions I already have instead of focusing on what I don't have. Because when you focus on what you don't have, you get more of not having it. And so it's a little bit 
the opposite of the way most of us were brought up and educated, but that is how the law of works. Now, I want to emphasize too, that in addition to opening yourself up by vibrating at a high level, by being in appreciation and gratitude, and love and joy and all that, you're going to start to get inspirations to take action. So action is required. It's not enough to simply think good thoughts and hope that what you want will fall into your lap. You have to work for it. You know, you have to get clear on what you need to do. If there's obvious things you do, like if you want to be a doctor, you go to medical school. And these actions are telling other people. It's also telling your subconscious that you are serious. You're talking to God, the universe, etc., source energy, spirit, however you hold that again, that you are serious about your goal. And that is what will activate the higher power as well as inspire more people to get behind your mission and support you. I know for me, you probably heard me tell the story. I decided to make $100,000 in one year and I started visualizing what a $100,000 a year lifestyle would look like. I believed it was possible. And I'm in the shower about 30 days later, I had my first $100,000 idea. Just intuitively came through. Now, what do I have to do? I have to act on that idea. Make those phone calls, write that book, whatever it might be. That is critical. Now, another aspect of working with the law of attraction is you've got to raise your energetic vibration to the point where it is a match for what, whatever it is you're seeking. That's the receive part. You have to be a vibrational match. And that involves doing whatever it takes to create more joy, more love, more gratitude and appreciation in your life. So here's some things you can do. Think about things you love to do and make sure you do one of them every single day because that's going to give you joy. Meditation is another way to raise your vibration. There are many, 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 many forms of meditation. We have uh, meditation uh, CDs and downloadable MPG files, the MP4, whatever they're called. And basically you can download those and we have those available. Go to YouTube, type in meditation. There's literally thousands of videos that you can close your eyes and meditate along with. Forgiving others is really important. You know, Lester Levinson, one of the great teachers of the world, he was sent home to die. And he did about two months they gave him. The doctor said, you're not gonna live longer than two months. And he said, well, I wanna find out what has life really been about? And one of the things he started doing was realizing he had a lot of resentment. And so he started in his mind just forgiving people, just visualizing, forgiving them, letting them go, releasing them from any guilt or blame they might've had for his life. And interestingly enough, he went on to live, I think for about another 20 years because he released all that negativity. Gratitude is another thing we recommend. Obviously, we talk about doing your gratitude exercise every day. It could be as simple as writing down 17 things you're grateful for. It could be a rampage of appreciation. The other thing is exercise. Whenever you exercise, you're raising your energy level and your vibration. Deep breathing, if you haven't found Mr. Wim Hof yet, uh, go online, I think it's WM, and then the second name is HOFF, Scandinavian. His breathing exercise will get you into a high level of vibration. And then finally, sending love. I just took a course recently that was supposed to get you into a state of enlightenment. And one of the things we had to do was every day, think of somebody that we didn't like, somebody we might have resentment toward, and just send them love. Now, another way you could potentially misuse the law of attraction is by using it as a justification to blame others for their circumstances. Like, oh, it's the law of attraction. They've attracted all that into your life without acknowledging that other factors are sometimes at play. For example, blaming people for their ongoing poverty, like people living in ghettos and underdeveloped countries, and not recognizing the, system the systematic and systemic economic and racial discrimination that has made it harder for some people to achieve economic goals that seem to come easily to others. So use the law of attraction for your own life and don't be projecting that other people are losers or not succeeding because they have not correctly used it. Now, obviously, however, the law of attraction can be used by those people to help them rise above their current circumstances and achieve something bigger and better with their lives if they understand and use it. But we can't hold people aware, uh, responsible if they're not aware of something. So our job is to educate people rather than blame them or put them down. So how can you make sure you're using the law of attraction to create a life you love? Well, make sure to use visualization to get really clear on what you want and review your vision every day to keep it top of mind. Use affirmations to cultivate a positive mindset and remind yourself that you have what it takes to accomplish your goals. 
and then follow the metaphorical breadcrumbs and enlist the mentorship and support of others to help you acquire the skills and the expertise you need to achieve your dreams. Now implement a daily mindset practice to cultivate your intuition and make better decisions in the moment. And keep on moving in the right direction of your dreams. And if you continue to show up as the kind of person who is capable of achieving your goals, but you're acting as if, the universe will respond in kind and you'll find it so much easier to find the people, the resources, and the opportunities you need to make your dreams a reality. And that is the power of the law of attraction. Show up in the world as the person you want to be, happier, more generous, more abundant, and the world will collaborate to help you become that person. Now, thanks for watching today. And if you have a question you would like to ask me and have me answer in a future video, just please post it in the comments below. I want to hear from you and make sure my team and I are helping you overcome the exact challenges you're facing so you can get better results in everything you do. And if you found this video helpful, please make sure you like it, share it with a friend who may need it, and go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. And for some additional books and tools and videos on the law of attraction and how to use it to create the life of your dreams, be sure to check out the resources page on my website at jackcanfield.com. There's a ton of great resources there, including lots of free stuff. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.